Tonight, a fitness tracker flaw exposed. Some wearable devices may not be as accurate as you think they are. KPI X5's Betty Yu on the discovery involving heart rate and skin color. Analysts say that these inaccurate readings on popular wearable devices that we see on so many people could be a byproduct of larger problems in the tech industry, including unconscious bias. The heart rate sensors on the most popular wearable devices, including Apple and Fitbit, might not work as well for people of color, according to a new study published by STAT, a health and medicine publication. Some users have complained about inaccurate readings from Fitbit on Reddit. So scientific studies, um, any type of study on, on, on humans, usually they're done with the majority, which is typically white people. And so when people of color, um, you know, have the same issues that the scientific study is, is testing, then, you know, you're not going to see what's really going to affect them. CNET News Editor-at-Large Ian Schur says this problem has persisted for a long time, but the technology is getting better. The way it works is that they use, uh, a lot of them use a green light that then tracks when there's more blood or less blood. Uh, and what they do is that they actually have increased the amount of light they're using, some of them, and then Apple actually uses infrared on top of all of that. The stat report says that green light is more readily absorbed by melanin, which is a natural skin pigment more prevalent in people with darker skin. Fitbit said in a statement to KPIX5 in part, to achieve the most consistent performance, we specifically designed our optical system to emit green light at sufficient strength to effectively penetrate darker skin. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX5. We've reached out to Apple for comment. We have yet to hear back.